Kenzie and today I have a haul for you. I love doing hauls because I have a shopping problem. But we're not going to talk about that, okay? We're just going to talk about the really amazing things that I got for this haul. Obviously I am home now, so this is not the permanent background. I am going to be redoing my room, like painting my walls, changing the color scheme completely. So if you guys want a updated room tour when that happens or like a redo your room type video, make sure to give this video a thumbs up so I know to do that. I'm going to start with Target because it's the easiest to just kind of show you guys. So I got two clothing pieces and they're kind of more summery pieces and I did buy these while I was in California like the day before I left because they were just really, really, really cute and I could not pass them up. So the first clothing piece are these like billowy chiffon-esque shorts and they are so comfortable. I think the color is really, really cute. They've got like this tribally blue aqua purple color going on the trim around it and it's got two pom-poms hanging from the ties and I think it's so cute and I would definitely wear this with like a tighter shirt or like a crop top white shirt or something like that but I love it I think it was like $20 and then I also got this shirt which is made of the same material I don't really know what it is it's it kind of feels like chiffon, but I don't really know if it is. But it is this very loose tank top that is kind of tribal inspired with this really, really pretty robin's egg blue. And the back is super cool. It's got this crisscross design and just the whole shirt is cool. There's like a trim around it and the bottom is also very cool and just loose and this was $17.99. The next thing I got from Target were these headphones that were on sale and I don't really like find a need to have headphones like this. Like I never really had an interest in Beats or anything like that. Um, but I saw these and they were on clearance so I was like what the heck. It kind of looked like someone had bought them and returned them which if I sanitize them I don't really care. But um, they are the Marley brand which I'm guessing is just Bob Marley and they were super cute. They were $50 on sale for $14.98 but I think that they just look so so freaking cute and yeah they're like mint green. Yeah. And the last two things from Target are kind of boring. The first one is this just storage thing that I got for I think $20. It's called Vanity Storage Set. And I need something to put my makeup in because right now for a while it's been in just like this blue bag. And it's so unorganized I can never find anything. So I decided to get this and it's got like one, two, three, four, five different pieces. So this bottom piece comes off to become like a tray. And then this piece right here is just a long kind of... What is this called? Like a long storage thing. And then this is separated into three shorter ones. So I figured I can just put all my makeup in here and put it in the bathroom and it'll be really, really cute and organized. And then lastly, just a trash can for my bathroom because someone like took my trash can. I have no idea where it went. Okay, the next place is, we'll go with Chili's because I only got one thing from there, but I just got this last night and I'm in love with it. So it is this shirt that looks like this. It's kind of like a crop top and it's a maroon color, very, very flowy tank top. I think the straps are really cool. They're kind of like a double spaghetti and this was only $13. So I definitely had to get this. Again, it is a very summery spring piece, but I feel like if you wear like a really big cardigan over it, you can wear it in the winter. Next place is Sephora and I got some of the best things that I've ever gotten from Sephora on this one trip. So the first thing I got was a new foundation. I spent like two hours in Sephora with my mom and my aunt and we had like a complete makeover done like spur of the moment. We just wanted like to know our exact foundation colors and what like brow products worked the best and this lady was amazing. We did it in some Texas mall near McKinney. I don't know. It's a big mall. It was really cool. Um, so she color matched me with this Makeup Forever HD foundation in the color N117 and I think that it matches me so perfectly and I'm so in love with this foundation. I think that it just works with my skin really well. I have really kind of dry to normal skin and some products can be really oxidized on my skin and some can just like create patches and some will be too oily. I think this one is so amazing. Next I tried this product out and this is the Anastasia Anastasia? I don't know. Dip Brow Pomade and I'm so scared to use this. I like can barely use it. I used it today but I don't think I used it to the full extent because it's just so scary. It's pretty much just like a paint 
for your eyebrows and I tried it the first time I tried it I was like it looks like a Nike sign. It was crazy. I'm in the shade Caramel if you guys were wondering, but if you guys have any good tips or tutorials out there for me to learn how to use this a little bit better, make sure to put that down below or tweet me them and yeah, because I definitely need help with this. This is probably my new favorite lip product in the entire world because it's the perfect color, guys. This is the Marc Jacobs Roll Play. It's part of their new nudes collection and I think it is just such a pretty mauve like pink color. I think that it's just like the perfect everyday lip. I'm wearing it right now, so I'm really obsessed with this. It is a bit pricey because it's Marc Jacobs, but I do not mind spending the money on good quality products that I know I will love, and this is one of them. Next is Forever 21, and I went in there today, and shout out to Victoria. She is a viewer who, whoa, I just screamed that. She's a viewer who actually met Tori, my best friend. Uh, she works at Forever 21, and then she tweeted me, and Tori told me, so I followed her on Twitter, and I finally met her today. So hi. The first one is this, and I found this at the register, and I just, like, thought that it was such a me piece. So it is this tank top, again, summary burgundy tank top that has like this crochet lace at the bottom and it's just got a really cool design it's very flowy so I'm excited to be able to wear that for the spring and summer and this was only $12.90 so I had to get it and then I picked up this pajama set that I think is just so me so the shirt looks like this and it says with enough coffee I could rule the world which is pretty much true and then the bottoms look like this which are just really cute boy shorts they're gray and just have a bunch of coffee on them so I believe this was only $12.90 as well at the Texas mall that I went to their pink selection was amazing but we were running out of time so I couldn't really shop and I had just like for the next week wanted to go to pink so badly so I finally went today and my store was not as great as theirs so I was very disappointed. So the first thing I got was this like, I don't remember what it's called, like a chug. It's called like a chug mug, I believe. I'm probably, that's probably not what it's called, but it looks like this and it says Aloha Beaches and I really like the color and I think that's going to be super cute for like a summer Instagram picture. So I believe this was only $10. The next thing I got was a sports bra and I've never gotten them from Victoria's Secret or Pink before so I wanted to try them out and this print was so cute. So this is what it looks like. It's a palm tree kind of vibrant style and I like it because it's very supportive and it just looks fashionable at the same exact time. Working out and rocking out at the same time. And this was $34.95 which is pretty decent for a sports bra. Next thing I got was a bathing suit and again I'm just on that summer trend. Why? It is snowing out right now. Anyways, so I got this bathing suit and I fell in love with it. So it looks like this. It's a very, very bright aqua color. And I think it's going to look so, so amazing with tan skin. And the straps are very cool. Like this crisscross thing in the back. It's kind of hard to tell, but looks like that. This was $39.95, which... I don't mind, again, paying for a very good quality bathing suit. And then the last thing I got was my paper. I saw this in the Texas pink, and it was, of course, not this exact style, but I wanted to get it anyways because I loved it, but I held myself back and waited for my true colors until I came home. So this is like a very lightweight jersey and I am in love with this. Pink has never, I don't think, ever come out with something like this for a baseball team before. And if you guys know anything about me, I am obsessed with the Red Sox. I love them so much. Pajoria, you are my bae, even though you're like 35 and married and I think you have a kid. But whatever. So it looks like this. It is a very lightweight jersey that just says Red Sox and the back says pink on it. And I think it'll look really cute with a, like even over a bathing suit or something. Or just to a game with a pair of jean shorts. And I'm obsessed. The next place I went to was Bath and Body Works. So they were having a deal. It was like 4 for 18 Not the best deal, but whatever. So I got four soaps for my bathroom. The first one is White Lily and Lime. And I thought this just smelled very fresh. The next one is probably my favorite. This is the Wild Mango go mojito mojito I don't know and it smells so good I love fruity scents and then the next one is sweet tangerines which this one is actually gonna probably go in my kitchen I think my mom picked this one out and it just smells again very citrusy and then the last one again is one of my favorites it is the jungle passion fruit oh yeah this one is my favorite and this one is the gentle foaming hand soap so I'll probably use this one first because 
I love the smell and the color is really pretty. And then the last thing, because I don't want this haul to be over, I'm going to show you guys a couple things I got from my road trip along the way. I think they're both from Nashville. So I accidentally left all of my mugs in my aunt and uncle's house, so I was very, very sad, but that means that I just get to start my mug collection all over again. Um, so the first one I got was from Starbucks, and this is just a Nashville mug, and I think it's really cute. It's pretty big. I like the color inside, which is weird to like it, but it's like a light gray. I wish that I would have started like in New Mexico where I first stopped. Like I wish I would have gotten one from each state. Then we went to one of the best coffee shops that I've been to in a really long time. It was very hipster and really cool in like downtown Nashville and it's called Frothy Monkey and I'm obsessed and I love this mug. I think it's really cool. I love big mugs. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any suggestions from pink for me to get because I'm still like on a pink kick. I feel like I just haven't gotten what I want. I don't know. I just haven't fulfilled that need in my heart. If you guys have anything that you want me to get, make sure to comment that down below and I will try to find it and haul it for you guys next time. And I will see you guys next video. Bye.